If you've been computer shopping lately, you've probably come across some unfamiliar names and numbers. But our own fact file correspondent, Sophie Formica, she's here to help us cut through some of that jargon. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. Well, having a computer that runs really fast is something almost everyone wants, but what makes that happen? That's the topic of this week's fact file question. Achilles Aplaska from New York writes, what's the difference between a Pentium, a Pentium Pro and a PowerPC chip, and which is the fastest? Well, to start with, all of those names are types of microprocessors or tiny chips that run your computer, kind of like the engine in a car. For starters, Pentium chips are commonly used in PCs and PC compatibles, and PowerPC chips are used in Macs and Mac clones. A Pentium Pro chip is just the fastest version of a Pentium chip. In a nutshell, it has more horsepower. In fact, all chips are measured by their speed. That's why when you're shopping for a computer, you'll see advertisements saying a computer runs at something like 133 megahertz. And chips come in a range of speeds, so the higher the number, the faster the chip. For example, the fastest Pentium Pro chip runs at 200 megahertz, but less expensive versions run at lower speeds are also available. For Mac users, a 240 megahertz PowerPC chip is the fastest chip available right now, but this will all change soon because manufacturers keep churning out faster chips and you keep paying for them. Now, if you're confused about any of the terms or technologies we feature here on CNET Central, we'd like to help, so send your question to the fact file at cnet.com or through regular mail to the fact file 150 Chestnut Street, San Francisco, California 94111. And if you want to know more about microprocessors, head on over to cnet.com. You'll also find those fact file addresses and each week's question and answer. Thank you, Gina. Now, if you're doing that processing on the go, you probably could use a personal digital assistant. And uh, Desmond Crisis is here from CNET Labs with the latest from U.S. Robotics. Mm -hmm. This is the Palm Pilot Professional. It's a little upgrade from the Palm Pilot that came out a couple months ago. The uh, big advantage is, is this one has a backlit display. We finally figured out that people use organizers at nighttime. It also has a little bit more memory, and this one can actually handle a network. Now, one of the complaints about the early PDAs, beginning with the Newton, of course, was that it was almost impossible to be sure that whatever you had entered in your palm synchronized with what you had on your desktop. Yeah, that's right. It also required a lot of extra software and some confusing cables. This has solved most of those problems by adding a docking adapter. So all you do is drop it in this hot sync adapter, is what they call it. Push one button and the whole process goes. It meshes the files on your organizer with the files on your PC so they'll always match. Now, notice there is no appointment on this day in the computer on the desktop. We've entered some in the palm top version of the organizer, and those two appointments just appear right there. Mm -hmm. like there magic. you go. Now, does this mean, since it is email capable, mm -hmm. that I can use this to use any internet service provider and just check my email? Well, not exactly. Although it is supposed to handle a TCP IP type connection, right now, it wants to talk to a certain computer, a computer running this type of software. So if you've read your mail on your own computer, it will happen. Now, it works on PC and Macintosh mm -hmm. and works with Microsoft Exchange, for instance, on the PC desktop. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the question about handwriting. Is this any better? Well, it's a little better. This one has graffiti, and that is a new type of writing. It's based on one stroke for everything you do. You'll have to learn how to operate it. Yeah, it but didn't take me that long to learn it on my Newton, you know. No, it's so. not that tough, but I don't want to write anything with an organizer. <laughs> okay, how much and when can I get one? Well, it's right under $300 for the the Palm Pilot Pro right about now. There's also a modem available so you can sync things up remotely. That's about $129. Network capability so you can dial into your computer's dial or your company's dial-up system. That'll be available June 97. Okay, Desmond, thanks once again. Thank you. Make a note of that. I will. on CNET, the digital domain. The best of the web is brought to you by MCI One. Life just got simpler. The web has come a long way since it was used for research in the mid-70s. And just to prove it, here are some of our favorite best of the websites for science buffs. First, we examine the Scientific American website. In print for over 150 years, this popular magazine is now on the web. Check out the latest in scientific research on everything from gene therapy to the Ebola virus. Or go back in time for a look at one of their very first issues, dating back to 1847 and probing the essence of coffee. Most noteworthy is the Ask the Expert section. Could a meteorite have possibly collided with TWA Flight 800? Write in your question and get the answer online. Next, we go back to school at Cornell University's exploration site. Savvy students of science can now visit Cornell's Theory Center and seek out answers to over 500 science projects now in progress. 
from exploring a fusion test reactor to investigating the problems of plasma turbulence, you'll find this site is not for the scientifically challenged. And from New York to California, our scientific pilgrimage continues with a visit to Pasadena's Mount Wilson Observatory. Since 1908, this famous observatory has been offering tours to the public. Well, now you can take a virtual tour right from your desktop. Check out a variety of telescopes and enjoy a fully enhanced multimedia experience. For more Best of the Web, visit CNET.com. This week's feature also includes a forum for women's health issues and another site devoted to keeping you healthy. For more information on anything you've seen on this week's show, the place to go is CNET.com. We have an in-depth review of the Palm Pilot we showed you earlier, as well as an update on the Communications Decency Act. That's CNET Central for this week. Thanks for tuning in and logging on. Thanks for joining us this week on CNET, the digital domain.